Introduction The teeny tiny microorganisms have great impact on each one of us. You wonder how? Some microorganisms can be very useful to us and some cause serious harm to us. Why not study the positive impact of microorganisms on us first? Microorganisms are useful in various fields. Preparing curd Have you ever seen how does your mother set milk to make curd? A. She adds a spoonful of curd to the warm milk and B. Keeps it aside overnight to let it set. Curd contains bacteria called lactobacilli. They multiply overnight and convert the milk into curd. Certain bacteria are also involved in the preparation of cheese and pickles. Preparing bread Yeast is used in the preparation of bread. Here is an activity to understand the technique behind preparing breads, cakes, pastries using the microorganisms. Take half kg of all-purpose flour, that is maida. Add some sugar into it. Mix it with warm water. Add small amount of yeast powder. Knead to make soft dough. Observe after two hours. You will see the raised dough after two hours. Yeast, which was added, uses the sugar during respiration and produces carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide fills the spaces in the dough and increases its volume. Making alcohol Yeast is also used in the large-scale production of alcohol. Yeasts are grown on grains like barley, wheat, rice and crushed fruit juices are used. Yeasts utilize the natural sugar present in these substances and convert it into alcohol. The process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is called fermentation. Making curd or bread are also fermentation processes. Hence, fermentation can be defined as the process of conversion of sugar into acids, gases or alcohol with the help of yeast or other bacteria. Wine and vinegar are also prepared by using yeast on large scale. Medicinal Use Antibiotics In 1929, Alexander Fleming invented a wonderful quality found in some microorganisms. He found a green mold in one of the culture plates while working on a disease-causing bacteria. He observed that the green mold prevented the growth of bacteria he was working on. It also killed these bacteria. The green mold was of Penicillium notatum. He extracted an antibiotic, penicillin, from it. Antibiotic are the medicines which are obtained from microorganisms to stop or kill the growth of other disease-causing microorganisms. 
Antibiotics are available in the form of tablets, capsule, injections, etc. Some of the commonly known and used antibiotics are streptomycin, tetracycline and erythromycin. Antibiotics should be taken only when prescribed by the doctor. Antibiotics taken unnecessarily might kill other useful bacteria in the body. Hence, it is important to complete the course of antibiotic or to take the correct dose. Otherwise, it will be ineffective in the future when you actually need. Antibiotics, however, are not effective against the disease caused by viruses, say cold and flu. They are also mixed with the feed of livestock and poultry to keep check on microbial infection in animals. They are also used to control certain diseases in plants such as fire blight disease in apple. Medicinal Uses Vaccines do you know the importance of these two dates in the year 2016, 17th January and 21st February? Kids who were up to five years were given the polio vaccine on these dates. A vaccine is dead or weakened microbes which are introduced in healthy body. As soon as the vaccine is introduced, the body produces antibodies to kill these dead and weakened organisms. The antibodies remain active in the body and protect us from that particular disease. Edward Jenner discovered the first vaccine for smallpox in 1798. Diseases such as smallpox, hepatitis, cholera, polio can be prevented by vaccination. Smallpox has been completely eradicated because of the worldwide campaign against this disease. Polio is now eradicated from India However, the Pulse Polio Campaign is still run every year to sustain the polio eradication from the country. Microorganisms in Cleaning Environment Have you ever seen the dead plant or animals lying on the ground disappear after some time? thanks to the microorganisms. They decompose the dead organic waste of plants and animals and convert them into simple substances. These simple substances are reused by other plants and animals. Hence, microorganisms can be used to degrade the harmful, smelly, biodegradable substances and thus to keep the environment clean. Manures are prepared by decomposing wastes of plants, vegetables and fruits with the help of microbes. However, microbes cannot act on non-biodegradable substances such as plastic, glass, metals, etc. Nitrogen Fixing and Nitrogen Cycle Nitrogen is one of the important constituents of all living organisms. It is the part of proteins, chlorophyll, vitamins, nucleic acids, etc. 
78% of the nitrogen of the total atmosphere is useless for plants without the help of microorganisms. Bacteria such as rhizobium and blue-green algae help in fixing the nitrogen. Both are collectively called biological nitrogen fixers. Rhizobium lives in the root nodules of leguminous plants and blue-green algae from the soil converts atmospheric nitrogen into the compounds of nitrogen. These compounds can be utilized by the plants for the synthesis of proteins and other important materials. Animals feeding on the plants directly or indirectly get these proteins and other compounds containing nitrogen. When plants and animals die, bacteria and fungi present in the soil decompose them and release the nitrogenous compound in the soil. Some of the compounds are directly converted into the nitrogen, which is released into the atmosphere. Hence, the percentage of nitrogen is always maintained in the atmosphere. Let us summarize what we have learned today. Lactobacilli convert milk into curd. Yeast is used in the preparation of bread. Yeast is used in the large-scale production of alcohol, wine and vinegar. Yeasts utilize the natural sugar present in barley, wheat, rice, crushed fruit juices and converts it into alcohol. Fermentation is the process of conversion of sugar into acids, gases or alcohol with the help of yeast or other bacteria. Antibiotic are the medicines which are obtained from microorganisms to stop or kill the growth of other disease-causing microorganisms. Alexander Fleming extracted the first antibiotic penicillin from Penicillium notatum. Some of the commonly known and used antibiotics are streptomycin, tetracycline and erythromycin. Antibiotics are not effective against the disease caused by viruses, say cold and flu. A vaccine is dead or weakened microbes which are introduced in healthy body. When the vaccine is introduced, the body produces antibodies to kill these dead and weakened organisms. Diseases such as smallpox, hepatitis, tuberculosis, cholera, polio can be prevented by vaccination. Microorganisms can be used to degrade the harmful, smelly, biodegradable substances and thus to keep the environment clean. Manures are prepared by decomposing wastes of plants, vegetables and fruits with the help of microbes. Microbes cannot act on non-biodegradable substances such as plastic, glass, metals, etc. 78% of the total atmosphere is nitrogen. Bacteria such as rhizobium and blue-green algae help in fixing the nitrogen. Both are collectively called biological nitrogen fixers. Rhizobium lives in the root nodule of leguminous plants and blue-green algae from the soil converts atmospheric nitrogen into the compounds of nitrogen which are used by the plants. When plants and animals die, bacteria and fungi 
present in the soil decompose them and release the nitrogenous compound in the soil.